marketing audits with Connor. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be going over some ads that we found on Facebook, breaking them down, why they're good, why they're not, what they can do to improve so that you can learn for yourself how to make better ads. Let's get started. So very first we have this uh, ad right here with uh, Kale Owen. Um, what's interesting is right off the bat he starts with, are you a gym owner? Um, a lot of people don't really love using this kind of copy, but I love it because the goal of your ad at the very beginning is to snag your ideal customer's attention, which can be calling out a pain point or just calling out your actual niche if you have that specific of a niche, right? So if you're not a gym owner, you're gonna keep scrolling, which is good. You don't want people who have nothing to do with what you sell stopping and reading your ads. Um, so it's, it's a great way, but because if you are a gym owner, you see that it's at least snagging your attention. Are you a gym owner? Yes, cool. Then you read the next line. Want to make 60K guaranteed. Now I'm surprised Facebook is allowing this copy to be written because it's definitely against the terms and conditions. But hey, Facebook does what Facebook does. Um, but right off the bat, it it gives a clear outcome of what your product does, which so many businesses struggle when they're writing their ad copy. They don't get as clear and as down to the, the, the raw basics of what their product solves, which is great that they do it in this one, right? Do you want to make 60K guaranteed? There's a couple different ways he could have written it. Are you struggling to make 60K? Are you wanting to make more profit um, but this is, is great that it gets so specific in what this product solves. Um, then if you go down, they talk about the results of their program. I'm assuming it's selling a coaching or course or something like that. Um, but then it just goes into like, boom, here is result, 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 result. Um, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. Like you hit the pain point, you offer the solution, and then you support it. You can do it with numbers like this, facts, different features of a product with the benefits, all that. So this goes into it great. Um, and then it goes into the, uh, the offer. It starts talking about um, they made an offer for you and they guarantee it at 60K new revenue, I'll give you your money back, right? adding another click so they don't have to scroll all the way down to click the button. Um, yeah, so, so they added a postscript or a PS here. So they added at the end to just reinforce what they just said, especially after like a call to action. So in case somebody scrolls past the call to action. Um, but I think it does a great job here. Um, for the sake of transparency, our bottom 20% of gym lords made 3x as much profit as the average gym. So. Pretty awesome, this is a great ad. I'm just looking at the video here. Gym owners are guaranteed 60K um, or your money back. Again, great video to, to snag their attention. Um, so overall, it's a pretty good ad. They call out the ideal customer. They come out with like a very clear outcome of using the product. They have uh, a lot of support with like results and everything. So overall, this ad is pretty good. Um, their hook is great, does a great job calling out the niche and getting the attention of people to stop, especially as it's all bolded at the very beginning. Um, it's very clear the outcome of using the product, whether it's a coaching, courses, or whatever. But the one thing that I don't love is it's almost too unbelievable, right? For a gym owner to hear that like they're gonna make 60K guaranteed can be almost too unbelievable that a lot of people might think it's a scam or that it's too good to be true. And so there's a fine line in uh, selling products, especially in the, the info space, like courses, coaching, consulting, all of that, that you don't over promise. Otherwise it sounds too unbelievable. For this ad, would I run it? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get to the next ad. So here we have uh, this one called Magnet Block. 
perfect gift for kids. I recently bought this set for my kids under all ages, blah, blah, blah. Become my new favorite thing to play with. Highly recommend. So this is something that I really like. I'm kind of surprised um, they're using it though. I love using reviews in my ads, especially starting off with the five stars and then the title. This is just a great way to snag attention, especially using these emojis of the stars. Um, but I normally use these for retargeting um, because I don't even know what the product is just by reading this, right? And so this is a great ad to use when someone's been retargeting. Like if someone's been to your website and you have ads following around for the next seven days, I like using to reviews and testimonials during uh, in my ad copy for that, not necessarily the cold audiences. I've never been to this website. I've never heard of it. I do have a wife who might have been, but this is not her Facebook account. But anyways, uh, Facebook spies on us, who cares? Okay. So kid get hits in the head if we could replace this with this. It's a magnet block. Now, something about this video, most kids after they get hit in the head, at least my kids, they don't laugh. So I don't know if that's as relatable for uh, an ad, <laughs> but hey, that's what they decided to go with. So let's keep watching. So the tears, timeout for him. See, she's talking about tears and timeouts, but the kids were laughing. Okay, magnetic flush box, process that together, build whatever. So this is actually a pretty cool tool. Now I'm thinking about getting this for my kids, but they're essentially soft, fluffy toys that can connect. Okay, so um, I'm gonna pause the video. So we actually have clients that sell kids toys. And one of the things with, and I know this because we sell kids toys, is with the toys, you have to get into showing the toys much quicker than what they're doing. Um, they hit the, throwing the toys and hitting each other and everything like, yeah, it's a little, it's very relatable for parents, so that's good. But they just take a little too long to get to the product. Um, especially when the ad copy at the very beginning doesn't even mention what the product is or what it does. That's one thing about this, this specifically this uh, testimonial they use is it doesn't talk about what the toy is or how the kids play with it or anything like that. So not the best, definitely can use some work there. And then with the video again, they just take too long to get to the actual product and seeing how cool, especially because it's these plush toys it's these plush like blocks that have magnets in them and stuff like that's a cool toy. You got to be showing that right off the bat. Um, the headline here: Build anything you can imagine with magnet block. So um, overall, this ad does not do a great job with the review. It doesn't really talk about the product at all in the review. The video doesn't go doesn't have a really relatable uh, pain point or hook and then it just takes a little too long to get to the product. Um, so for those reasons, I would not run this ad. Hey, make sure you uh, comment below if you have any questions that you would like answered in upcoming videos, as well as uh, hit that subscribe button so you can just stay up to date on everything that's going on in the digital marketing world. So yeah, do it. Goodbye. Okay,